Hi there, today we're going to talk about uh, Shira SEO's rank tracking features and we're going to explore them, show you how to configure them and lastly we're going to show a few actions related to them. Basically we have a few uh, screens related to the rankings. Uh, we have uh, the current, the historical screens, and we have a few related to competitors. But this time we're going to touch about uh, the main screen, which is the current. You'll find on rankings, current. And uh, basically it's a table that has keywords and rankings. Uh, the next thing you'll see here is the localization. And that is basically where we collect the data from. And it's important because it's very different between UK and US. You might find the same keyword ranked totally different in different uh, localizations. So you really need to be aware of that. And uh, the next thing we have is a bit of historical data that we can see. We have uh, the latest progress, which has around eight last samples. And you can hover over the dots and see the exact rank at that time. Uh, if you want more than just eight to 10 samples of rankings, uh, you can see the full history using uh, this link. So here, for example, and you can play with the dates. Back. Uh, you'll see here the difference column and by default, it will be the difference in rank between the current rank and the previous sample we took. But you can change that behavior by using the compare to and select a specific date. This way, it will show you the difference of rank between that, the date you selected and the current ranking. So, uh, next thing you'll see is the date. That's the date we took the rank, uh, the current one. One of the uh, recent features we added is the cache results, where you can click on a result and you can see the actual results we took from Google. So if you want to see exactly where your competitors are, where your website and how it shows, that's that's how you do it okay just press it uh, next uh, let's talk about sub features so Google started showing all kinds of uh, features within the search results and those decrease the amount of clicks the organic results will get so for example if you look at uh, automated SEO software and see the results now you see um, usually there will be an advertisement on the top and then you have people also ask and it's very useful to the user but it's not good for SEO because that means the user will need to scroll more down to get to the, to the result we want and that's the organic result so it's critical to know which features exist uh, in each keyword and the more features you have the less amount of clicks you're gonna get uh, next let's talk about volume and estimated clicks so we know the amount of searches being done for every keyword we know that from Google keyword tool and uh, of course that's critical to to have it based on the localization it will be different in every country and uh, for example, we can look at SEO software that has 1600 searches a month. And uh, if we look at director submission software, it only has 20. So it's critical to know that information. And because we know the search volumes and we know the rank, uh, based on statistical data, we can estimate the amount of actual traffic you're going to get so for example uh, 
if we look at backlink manager software okay that has 40 searches a month and we ranked number seven so our estimation is based on those two factors we estimate one click if you allow us to take information from google uh, search console we can show you the actual amount of uh, visits you got from each keyword and also something called impressions now impressions mean how many people search for something and saw your uh, website in the results and visits means they don't they didn't just see your website link they actually pressed it and went to your website so uh, impressions and visits very important information and you can compare that information to the volume and estimated clicks and see how it matches up okay because this is the estimation and this is the real stuff okay now let's talk about how you can uh, view the data in all kinds of ways so you can press any column and have it uh, sort the data according to that column it will be descending and ascending whatever you do um, next we can also filter the data uh, we can do that using the contains uh, search text here for example here's a search for everything with SEO software in it, in it. and if we press again we can uh, reset this data uh, also you can filter by the appearance of uh, any uh, any kind of uh, search feature for example feature snippet so we can show you only the keywords that have feature snippet in them okay um, next thing we can do is use the tags so tags are kinds of they're like groups of keywords and you can easily add tags like this okay or we can select a few and then go to actions and add a tag over here now once you do that you can use the tags filter and you can filter by this tag okay very simple to use um, next I want to touch about uh, different search engines so basically we see here Google but if you want we can also also show you Bing results and we can also show you all of the results at once so Google and Bing and we can show only local results these are the local pack results not relevant to our business but very relevant to many businesses that uh, target their neighborhood or the city uh, like lawyers or doctors whatever um, that's about it now if you want to uh, show reports uh, we have a special section for that over here in the menu but if you want just to take a quick report you can just press this link or this link this one will be a, a comma separated file which shows up in Excel and the other one will be PDF okay so there you go and we have a PDF if you want just a, a, a bit of the keywords you can use the tags and then for example filter by this tag and then export so only those keywords will show up okay now let's talk about adding keywords so there are actually three ways to add keywords easiest one would be to press the add keywords button here and just add a keyword
it's a line separated list of keywords and that's it they're added uh, second way would be again you press the add keywords and then you press the open full editor okay now in the full editor uh, you have the keywords that you're going to uh, rank from now on if you press submit and uh, you have all kinds of suggestions so you can decide if you like the suggestions uh, they, they come with all kinds of uh, relevant data and if you like what you're given here you can just press the links here and they'll be added you don't see them but it actually added here okay um, once you're pleased with whatever you got on the right side you can press submit and that'll be your new uh, tracked keywords um, one special thing here is that you can also add all kinds of localizations and let's explain that okay uh, we have a similar screen that's the third way and I'm gonna, gonna show that one under settings domain settings search terms you'll find a, a, a much bigger screen and it's basically works, it works the same uh, suggested keywords and you can add them and um, here's our new keyword and you can also delete from here also very useful if you want to copy keywords from a file you just make sure they're line separated and you do copy there and paste it here it works the same uh, but one thing I want to touch here is that if you want different localizations you can do that from here so you can press uh, sure CO and do star star and then the localization code for example, Germany would be DE. Okay. Um, that will add Shira CO keyword for localization Germany. And you can also edit Shira CO for, I don't know, uh, Israel. Okay. And this way you can add. Uh, the, the same keyword for different localizations and when you press submit it will go and, and fetch it now if you want to know the codes you can see them right down here so this is the list of uh, localizations we support and there's an explanation here regarding exactly what I just uh, mentioned so search terms star star localization code now if you want a, a city or a zip code a neighborhood actually you can, you need to know the zip code and then you do sure SEO the keyword star star the country code and that could be for example US and star star the zip code okay and you press submit so that's the way to add localizations and keywords. Moving keywords is actually pretty easy. You can select keywords from here and you do actions, remove keywords, and they're moved. Um, another way is to go from settings, domain settings, search terms, and just select the keywords you want to remove delete them press submit both ways will work the same now one last feature i want to mention is the uh, poll now and that simply you press the button here and it will collect the rankings right now that's all it does that's it for today i uh, hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments or questions Please feel free to write that below and see you next time.